Hey guys, welcome back to the QB Docs. Today I'm joined here with Dusty. And just to recap our first impairment we talked about in our previous video, that would be weakness in the right side, the right side abdominals. Okay, so since we have weakness here, we want to give an exercise that is going to help us decelerate during our throwing motion. Because if we don't have this right side abdomen, we don't have these internal and external obliques on this right side, or they're not matching the strength on this side, we're not going to be able to stop ourselves as we follow through. Okay? And if we're unstable, if we're not symmetrical from side to side, this foundation is unequal, and we're not going to be able to produce as much force off of that. So we want to give an exercise that you guys can use at home as part of a warm-up or part of a training program to start to equal out some of this asymmetry that we have as throws. Okay? So the first thing you're going to need is a kettlebell or a dumbbell, uh, and we're just going to load one side. So we're going to do single arm RDL. So what Dusty's going to do, since he's a right-handed quarterback, okay, right-handed athlete, left side of rotational athlete, he's actually going to load the, the kettlebell in his left hand. Okay, so by loading it in his left hand, as Dusty comes down, this kettlebell is going to want to pull him in the right side of rotation. Okay, but he's going to have to use his right side, right side of his abdomen to counter rotate and stabilize as he goes into this single leg RDL. Okay, so let's see some of these because this is a really important concept as far as we're not actually rotating through the movement, we're counter-rotating, we're doing a stabilization exercise in order to develop more eccentric base strength or the ability to slow ourselves down because that's what we need to do in our throwing motion. We need to be very specific with what we're doing here as far as specific to the movement, the throwing motion, in order to have success and make this side more stable. All right, so let's see your RDL. Good, and you can see Dusty's eyes are down as his truck comes forward, his eyes come down with that. He's doing a great job of posterior weight shifting, putting his, bringing his hips and butt back as he keeps the rib cage down. Now Dust, show me one that would maybe look bad. Good, so compensation would be rotating here as he goes through flesh. And we know that this is a terrible position. If whenever you're rotating, through rotation with flexion, it's going to be very, very hard on your low back. So if you want a bulging disc, you're going to rotate with flexion. Okay, you definitely don't want that. Okay, so stay straight, stay stable, rear pace down. I would perform 12 to 15 reps, maybe three sets of that. Uh, if you're going to do both sides, you can definitely do both sides, but do twice as many on this side versus that side. So if Dusty was doing this for sets, he'd do four on his left and two on his right. Okay, if you like that video, please check out our upcoming videos on our two other compensations that we talked about.